Good morning, students. I missed you so much. So today, we're going to study the endings of the words. It's a vocabulary strategy. We're going to understand why, what is the meaning when we put ED, what does it refer to, and what does it refer to when we put an ING, and what does it refer to when we put an S. Now, but first I need Mr. Sugar. No, Mr. Can you please read the okay. old English endings? Okay, word structure. The old English ending ed and ing may be added to verbs to change the tense person or usage of the verb. The s ending has the same function. You can use endings to uh, help determine determine the meaning of help determine help to uh, determine the meaning of uh, unknown word Mr. an unknown word very good thank you very much for that now mr sugar i have to ask you a question here do you remember what happens when we add ed to a verb it is a make a made a pad very good very very good it turns the verb into the yes. past or past tense. Amazing. Thank you very much for that, Mr. Sugar. Ahmed Habib. Yes, mister. What happens when we add ing to the verb? When we, when we put the ing to the verb, it becomes present. But if I say, if I say eat, so it would be eating. So eating refers to what? Uh, uh, eating, it changes to a noun. It is something we have, uh, we are doing it. It takes some time. It, we are doing it what, uh, Ahmed, when? Now. Now, exactly. Very good. Amazing. Now. We're and doing it. it now or it's now. happening now. now very good so when i add ing i understand and i know that this thing is happening right now at the moment the teacher is explaining the lesson the students are listening to the teacher right right yes yeah, so this is happening now thank you very much for that ahmed now, Abdullah, you have a different question. Abdullah? Abdullah? Okay, Abdullah is not answering. Reported to Mr. Amr. Mazen? Hello, Mr. Yes, so Mazen, I have a different type of questions for you, okay? okay. What happens when we add S to a noun, not to a verb? Well, two things can happen, but okay, let's to go to the first thing. To a noun. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand that you said a noun. I, okay, there is one reason. The noun can become a plural noun. A Very plural good. noun. Can you give me examples, please? So, for example, if you say the word car, you're going to add S. Car is a noun. For example, if you say, um, for example, the word um, phone, it will be phone. Think of a word. Book. Yes. Phones. Phones. Cellar. Cellars. Very good. Basement. Basements. So all of these are nouns, and you can add s to them to s show to them. that they're plural. But not. some words Very in good. English language. Do not go this rule. Yes, we'll I, know, I know, I know, I know, but just it's not us now. I said when we add S to the nouns and you proudly said it that it changes them into plural noun. nouns. Very good, E boy. Very good. Bilal. Yes, Mr. Uh, what happens when we add S to a verb? When it changes, we add S. It changes. It changed the 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 verb from like make 
they make this for plural, but he makes. It changes the it may uh, uh, with no is is for plural and with is is for single. Amazing, very good. So it does the opposite of the nouns, right? Yes. yes. As E boy said, when we add s to a noun, it changes from singular to plural. But you say now, Bilal, that when we add s to a verb. It changes from plural to singular. Singular, very good. To singular, amazing. There, amazing, are, amazing. Uh, there are some verbs that do we do not put s in it for like uh, for some uh, subjects. Yes, we add es and ies. Very good, very very yeah. good. But just we say with the with the plural uh, with the singular with the singular we add. Yeah. S, he, she, and et. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Very, very good, Bilal. Really amazing. Said. Hi, mister. Uh, can you please read number one and two? Examine, examine. Examine. Examine the unknown word to see if it is, if it has a root word you know. Okay. Two, check to see if the ending E, D, I, N, G, or S has been added to be to a pace word. Remember that some pace words drop the final e before adding an ending. For example, Russell, Russell, Russell. Become, the t is silent. Russell. Remember, Russell becomes rustling. Very good. Now here, Saeed, I uh, I want to ask you for a task. We have eight words here. How many words have ing in them? Uh, They're here. Words. The words are here. Yes, two words. What are they? Rustling and fleeing. Rustling and fleeing. Very good. We 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 studied rustling here. We knew the the base word. Now I need fleeing. What is the base word of fleeing? Flee. Flee, very good. And it means? Uh, run. Run away, very good, or escape. Huh. So fleeing, it tells you, or you understand that this action is happening? Now. Right now, amazing. Very good, very, very good, Saeed. Really, I'm very proud of you. Thank you very much for that. Omar Hamada? Yes, mister. Now, what words in the eight words have ED or S? ED or S? Yes. Okay. Two only. What are they? The first word uh, with ED, inspired. Inspired. You understand what from this word? Uh, I understand uh, from this word. Uh, that's this word, uh, like a feeling. A feeling yes. of something. And the ED tells you what about this verb? That's a feeling of a past. Very good. That it happened in the past or in the past. Very good. That this verb that happened in the past. And the other one, blunders. Blunders. Uh, blunders is a stupid mistake. For example, when I, I, have in a, I am in, in a quiz and I forget to write my name. Very this good. is a stupid mistake. Very good. So blunders here. The S refers to that one did a stupid mistake or a group did a stupid mistake? Uh, one. One. And it also tells what? It, it also tells that the stupid mistakes happen happened in now. Happens in the present. Happens? In the present. In the present. Mm -hmm. Very good. They happen in the present. Very, very good. Thank you very much for that, Omar. I'm really proud of you guys, really. Huh.
Long ago lives. Asr Amr, start reading, please. Mister. Yes. Mr. Yes, Asif, but you have you have you know a background noise, a big background noise. Please try to isolate them. Huh? Abdul yes, Masamir, can you read? Okay. Uh, start reading until wild beasts. Okay. okay. Huh. We do not okay. we do not usually envy envy the leaves envy the lives the leaves lives of people lives of people who live who lived thousands of years ago. Ago. Now I have two questions here. Okay, or three maybe. Here, do you have any word that ends with S here in the first two lines? Yes. What is that? A thunder, a th thousands. Thousands, and what else? Um, lives. Lives, very good. L now, the the s here in thousands the s in thousands is added to a noun or a verb that isn't okay uh, thousand is a noun or a verb is a noun is a noun lives is a noun or a verb verb Verb. Minister, it's a noun. It's no. a noun. Lives, not lives. Lives. Also years. Is a noun or a verb? Is a, is a, is a noun. Is a noun. Very good. So when we add S to a noun, what happens, Abdullah? Okay. Hmm? When we add S to a thousand, to year, to life, what happens? Huh. It stays the same or becomes plural, becomes more than one? Yes, Mr. It's uh, become than one. Yes, it becomes plural or become more than? One. One, very good. It becomes more than? One and so we understand from this S is that this is more than one life, more than one year, more than one thousand, right? Right. Yes. Ha. Huh. Now, Asir. Yes, In the first two sentences that Abdullah read, what is the meaning of envy? Okay, uh, envy means that um, you want something, but uh, uh, your friend or um, or your brother ha uh, ha have it, but you not. Very good. And you have bad feelings about this, right? Yeah. Yes, you feel jealous about it. Amazing. Now, can you please tell me what words in the first two lines have ED in them? Okay. Oh, it's good. Uh, and the first two lines here. Okay, lived. Lived, very good. Now this ED. Tells you what about the word? This is a, uh, this is a, a past verb. It is 
A verb in the past. Amazing. Very good answer. So we understand from this ED that this verb happened in the past. Past or past. Very good. There's also another word that tells about the past or the past here. Where is it? Years ago. Ago. Very good. Ago refers to the past. Very good. Thank you very much for that answer. Ahmed Nabil. Hey, Mr. Uh, read, please. We are? We are likely to imagine them clean for their self, for their, their lives. lives from enemies or world beasts. Wild, Wild beasts. beasts. Very good. Now, what is the meaning of the word fleeing? Hmm. Um, running. Amazing. The word fleeing means running. Now the ing in fleeing is tells you what about the word? That they are running. They are running when? In the best. In the past, ing refers to the past. No, refers to what happened is happening now. Yes, very Ready. good. Refers to something that is happening right now. Now, very good. And the s in beasts, enemies, lives. Hmm. tells you that this is plural noun or this is in the present? Present. It's a plural noun because lives is a noun, enemies is a noun, and beasts is also a noun. Okay? Okay. Okay, Ahmed, thank you very much for that. Sulaiman. Hi, Mister. Ha. Huh. Read, please. Any civilization without civilization. Civilization without excellent shopping, television and computers seems for too primitive. Primitive. For us. Primitive. Primitive for us. For us, very good. What is the meaning of civilization? Um, like a country or yes people or nation very good it's people or nation ha huh. here i have a question Sulaiman. seems okay. seems okay. the s in seems refers to the plural or the present 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 very good and we put s because civilization is one or more than one? One. One, very good. So civilization is singular. That's why seems is also has, uh, also has S because it goes with the subject verb agreement. Thank you very much for that, Suleiman. You were of a great help. Anas. Yes, Mr. How we, however, however, we have learned much, learned much about early cultures, often complex. complex no, no, no. What, what we have? Complex. What we have? You skip the line. Uh, what we have learned show us shows. Shows us that their world was often complex. Not. Not simple. Not simple. Very good. What is the meaning of complex? 
the meaning of complex made up of a number of parts hard to understand. Yes, and it's hard also to understand. What is the opposite of complex or the antonym? Huh? It's what? Easy to understand. It's simple. It's? Simple. Simple. Very good. Amazing. So here, the when he tells you the opposite or the antonym of complex, it's what, Anas? The meaning? No, the antonym or the opposite. The opposite is simple. Simple. Very good. Thank you very much for that, Anas. They were uh, Sir Hussam. Hello, Mister. Hello. They were not all that different from us. For example, two thousand years ago, the Mayan people played a ball game. The, game. the game was played. The game was played by teams on strong courts with, courts with special goals. Players needed strength and skill. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. So here we have played. When you read the word played, Asir, you understand what? That the, the word played is a, is, a, is a past verb. It's a past verb. And here goals. The S here to make the word plural. Goals is plural, yeah. Yes, it's very plural. good. So the S is here to make the word plural. Also players. Is it to make the word pl plural also? Yes. Yes, amazing. Very, very good. Very good. Thank you, Asir. Oh. Omar Hussam. The strategy was to send a heavy ball through a high stone ring, usually using uh, using only hips, knees, and elbows. Teams might play this game, for which the stakes were very high. No one wanted to make any blunders because the loser might lose his head. His this head. Very good. Up. Just a minute. Just a minute. Omar Hussam, what is the meaning of the strategy? Strategy, thought out plan. What? Thought out plan. Very good, very good. So strategy here generally means a plan. So the plan was to Number think. Stupid mistake. It's a stupid mistake, very good. Now I have a question for you, Omar. Why shouldn't they make any blunders? Because the loser might die or lose his head. Why, the, why might he lose his head? Because it's a heavy stone ball. Because is, you're playing with a king. Head, he, the ball might go in his face and shut it off. No, 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 no. Because you're playing with a king. So if the king was mad, because he lost, he will kill, he will, for example, say, kill this player. He didn't play well. So they will kill that player. Right or not? But it says might, not always. Yes, might. Yes, so might. If you make a, mis a mistake, the ball might even go in your face and uh, stop it off. Yeah, so you should pay attention and do not make any blunders while playing with kings. Of course, we don't play with kings right now. Yeah, yeah, it's your turn now. Hello. Uh, okay. Thank you, Omar. Uh, blunder, uh, this game. This game may have inspired our modern game of soccer stand on one of those ancient ball ancient. courts and ancient. ancient and you can all almost feel the ex excitement of the crowd crowd or hear, crowd or hear the rustling of a feather headdress 
Headdress. Headdress. Very good. What is the meaning of inspired? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yes, Muhammad Khalid, can you help us with the meaning of the word inspired? Yes, Mr. Uh, inspired? Just a minute, Ryan. Yes, inspired means what? Glitched. Glitched. Ryan, what do you think? Yeah. Inspired means what? glitched? No. Everyone, share your answers in the chat. Hmm. Uh, Mr. Uh, are you asking me? Yes, Ryan. Yes. Inspired uh, means what? Inspired. Yes, I, I know, I know. Take, take in. Take the idea. Inspired means what? Huh. If you don't have the mic on, answer on the chat. Huh. Inspired means what? Rayan, Yahya, and Muhammad Khalid. Uh, Anyone okay, to yeah. answer? Take this idea. Uh, okay. Take this idea. Mm, yes, you, you can be correct. Huh? Yahya, what do you think? I don't know. You don't remember? It's filled with thought or influenced very good it's filled with thoughts or influenced hmm. rustling means what maybe mister rustling means what huh rayan muhammad yahya rustling means mister, what? Me, I know. mister i know tell me uh, uh, it means uh, a soft sound. It's a soft sound. Amazing. It is a soft sound. Okay. And by that, we finished our today's... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, we finished today's class. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, inshallah. I love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.